I went from there to another place and saw a mountain of fire flashing both by day and night. I proceeded towards it and perceived seven splendid mountains, which were all different from each other. Their stones were brilliant and beautiful. All were brilliant and splendid to behold, and beautiful was their surface. Three were towards the east and strengthened by being placed one upon another, and three were towards the south, strengthened in a similar manner. There were likewise deep valleys, which did not approach each other, and the seventh mountain was in the midst of them. In length, they all resembled the seat of a throne, and odoriferous trees surrounded them. Among these, there was a tree of an unceasing smell. None of those which were in Eden was there one of all the fragment trees, which smelt like this. Its leaf, its flower, and its bark never withered, and its fruit was beautiful. Its fruit resembled the cluster of the palm. I exclaimed, Behold, this tree is goodly in aspect, pleasing in its leaf, and the sight of its fruit is delightful to the eye. Then Mikael, one of the holy and glorious angels who were with me and who presided over them, answered and said, Kynok, why do you inquire respecting the odor of this tree? Are you inquisitive to know it? Then I, Kynok, replied to him and said, Concerning everything, I am desirous of instruction, but particularly concerning this tree. He answered me, saying, That mountain which you behold, the extent of whose head resembles the seat of Yahuwah, will be the seat on which shall sit the holy and great Yahuwah of glory, the everlasting King, when he shall come and descend to visit the earth with goodness. And that tree of an agreeable smell, not one of carnal odor, there shall be no power to touch until the period of the great judgment, when all shall be punished and consumed forever. This shall be bestowed on the righteous and humble. The fruit of the tree shall be given to the elect, for towards the north life shall be planted in the holy place, towards the habitation of the everlasting king. Then shall they greatly rejoice and exalt in the Holy One. The sweet odor shall enter into their bones, and they shall live a long life on the earth as your forefathers have lived. Neither in their days shall sorrow, distress, trouble, and punishment afflict them. And I bless Yahuwah of glory, the everlasting King, because he has prepared this tree for the Kodeshim, formed it, and declared that he would give it to them.